Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Dreams, and today we have uh, a really interesting video. Uh, this man, he's doing some weird shit. You read the title. He, uh, he fucks his car. That's, I don't know why, but he does it, and we're gonna talk about it. Uh, yeah, we got a weird one today, guys. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy, and watch till the end if you want to be an epic gamer. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh my god, we're five seconds in and they already have this freaking like banjo hillbilly hick music playing. Oh my god. Why am I not even surprised at the type of person who would do this? It's like some dude from the backwoods. My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Dude, I don't know if it's like the social anxiety or just like, or maybe he's like camera shy. You can just hear the shame in his voice because he knows it's so fucking weird. But he's still open to talking about it for a My Strange Addiction episode. Like, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. We're getting right in there just immediately. Holy shit. Yo, jeez. Let's give the couple some room. Give them some personal space. Goddamn. Oh no, oh shit dude, it's one thing to kiss the outside of your car, but why is he fucking gripping the steering wheel with his horse lips? What the fuck bro? You know this man isn't washing his hands, he's freaking driving this thing around with his sticky Cheeto fingers and then licking the Cheeto dust off the steering wheel afterwards. Good morning baby, my handsome man. Uh, what? Look, I have no problem. I have no problem with anyone and anyone's like, sexuality. Like, you do your thing. But I have one question. How the fuck does he know if, if this thing is a man? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. Uh, I'm not sure if both parties involved have consented to this committed relationship. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. It was love at first sight. Okay, bro, I fucking can't. Look at his reflection. Wait, hold up. Sharp, is that you? <laughs> bro, this dude's reflection looks exactly like Sharp. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. Yeah, he likes his cars curvy. <laughs> he likes them when they got that ass. <laughs> I'll give him a kiss here and just kind of caress him down the side. My initial reaction. We hold the fuck up. Is that Leafy's girlfriend, Billy the Fridge? <laughs> Bella, stop. Oh, hell no. Don't you get cute with me. The man's mine. He don't respond to you for a reason. He's happy. He like them thick, all right? Those pictures you show of me banging Leafy, yeah, you are all spot on. I do it and I do it well, or I wouldn't be right here, right now, in the man's bedroom. Our bedroom. Because we are getting married. I'm pregnant. I've locked myself down a celebrity, baby. Unless you want to sacrifice that ass to an awesome threesome. Shut the fuck up. We're busy getting busy. Back the fuck off of my mouth. Was, I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. She was shocked. It was kind of weird and hard to understand. Bro, she's trying so hard to be a supportive mom, but she just can't when this dude is fucking his car. <laughs> Wait, some cases of objectophilia include attractions to the Eiffel Tower? How do you fuck the Eiffel Tower? Wait, does the Eiffel Tower like go in somewhere or something? Like, how does that work? Oh jeez, now that image is in my head. Yo guys, be careful if you go to Paris, there might be some dude deep throating the fucking Eiffel Tower. Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. Yo buddy, you don't think it's a little bit weird that you want to fuck your car? Like, obviously you have some type of problem. How do you not know this? How do you, how do you not see that this is so fucking weird? But, I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. Yo, can they stop showing this same clip of him making out with this car's bumper over and over? Jesus Christ. 
he likes a lot of the same music I do. Oh fuck, that's copyrighted. No, go back to the kissing, please. Go back to kissing, that's copyrighted. We have our times when we get sexual. Wait, what does that mean? How the fuck? How do you get sexual with the car? I'm gonna just shove his cock in the exhaust pipe. Man's over here fingering the gas tank and jerking off the gear shift. <laughs> does that feel good? Oh my god, I feel so violated just from hearing that. Jesus Christ. Why do they play the suspenseful music like this man's holding his car against its will? I mean, he kind of is, actually. <laughs> I don't think the car can really consent. I don't think it's that old either. Sir, are you sure your car's over 18? I'm a handsome man. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. Man's really out here dry humping his car. Oh my god. I cannot make this shit up. One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. He really likes that. Bro, what do you mean he really likes that? Where you just like whip your dick out and you're like honk two times for yes, honk once for no. Like what the fuck? It's very special to make love to Chase. Bro, we both know your little micro penis does not fill up that exhaust pipe. Quit playing. I mean, I am worried for my friend. I legit thought that was his mom for the whole time up until now, but okay. Because it's not normal, and you may have people that don't understand and make fun of you. Jeez, I wonder why. It's not like he's fucking his car. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. Dude, what an abusive piece of shit. Chase, you need to go find you a real man. I mean, I'm single if you want to honk me up. I mean, hit me up. There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. His fucking co-worker walks by, sees his computer. He's like, dang, bro, that's a nice car. And this dude hears that shit, and he's like, don't objectify my husband. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If something were ever to happen to Chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. I just have to gather myself here. I'm sorry for all that. I am concerned for Nathaniel emotion-wise. I think life would be easier if he did change. Yeah, no shit. Love you. Nathaniel's roommate, Kim, is one of the few people who know the full extent of his love life. Yeah, I went out there one night and he's just butt naked covered in baby oil trying to refuel the tank, if you know what I mean. I guess the reason I don't tell a lot of people is because I don't know the response I'm going to get. Jeez, buddy, I wonder what people might say. I always worry about that little bit of disgust that somebody may have. Hey, buddy, I'm sorry to tell you, but I think it might be more than just a little bit. But Nathaniel's biggest fear is how his relationship could affect his career as a customer service technician. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm very sorry, but I got to put you on hold just for one second. I got to go fuck my car real quick. I mean, if everybody found out, I'd be worried that it may affect my job. But I love him to death. I, I wouldn't trade him for the world. Good night, baby. You. That was an interesting experience. Dude, how do people like that exist? What the fuck? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to make. And um, tell me what you guys think about it in the comments. Tell me if you want more videos like this. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, that'd be awesome. My Twitter and Instagram will be in the description below. Quick thanks to my patrons, Dumbname and Creamy. Really appreciate all the support, you guys. Also, thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Also, if you guys made it this far in the video, don't forget to put yeet in the comments below. But yeah, my name is Dreams. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.